sewing up the sleeves. I'm going to use the mattress stitch to sew up the sleeves and I left a thread at uh, obviously when I had started the sleeve. I don't know if I actually left enough thread <laughs> to thread up the whole sleeve um, but that's okay. I'm going to start with this thread and if I run out of thread I'll just add some more and uh, and can finish it. Um, if you ha don't have enough thread that's okay. You just leave whatever you have dangling there and just start um, a new one uh, and we'll weave that end in afterwards and stitch up. So I will start with this and I am going to try to zoom the camera in for you here. Okay, so I will thread my needle and this beginning one might be a little awkward uh, but basically it is as you did on the sleeve where you're going to find the last uh, the last uh, stitch on the sleeve because you did a salvage stitch on the sleeve so there's the last one right there and there's the next stitch and what you're going to be doing is picking up the bars from between those um, two lines of stitches just like you did on on the sleeve when you were picking up the bars in between now um, at the base of this it's a little bit different because we did a series of different stitches down here and um, so it won't it uh, it should it will still look good it just won't look quite the same because sometimes we have garter stitch in here sometimes we have seed stitch in here and sometimes we have stockinette stitch in here and so I, I won't worry about worry about that so I'm going to start by finding the bottom just want to find the very bottom of this sleeve and I'm going to insert in there like that. Okay, then I'm going to see there's my end row here. And I'm just going to find the first bar, which is right there. Beautiful. Go over and find the next bar. And you can do two bars. Works great. Then I go into the bar I had done be into the opening where I had gone before and I will do two bars and come up. There's plenty of great videos out there on the mattress stitch and books. I'm providing a link on my site to one that I think is particularly well done. I like the way she ex how she explains to do the mattress stitch in a very unique visual way so you can check that out too. Of course I always like you to watch my channel. <laughs> and then we get, uh, I came out of there. So there's two bars. And then I came out of that one. See that's where the thread came out. The thread was out of that one. So I'm going to skip two bars. There's one, there's two. Or not skip two, but go into every other one. And then we came out of, where did we come out? We came out of this one. And we skip two. And then we came out of this one. But we skip two. Oop! <laughs> and the thread comes out of the needle. Gotta like that. Okay. I didn't leave myself enough thread. There we are. And everything is lining up. And there's, see that's where my yarn came out of, was right there. And now I'm gonna go one, two bars and over. It'll start to make more sense once we get out of this funny zone where there's all kinds of stitches happening. I came out of there, so now we need one two bars. Now we're moving into stockinette. This is where this stitch is beautiful, is on the stockinette. One, two. They just start to line up beautifully. Came out of there. 
one, two, and came. That's where my thread came out of last time, so I go up two bars. There we go. And one, two, like that. Oh, look at that. It's starting to, starting to come together well. One, two, and There we go. You want to make sure that you come up to see I just about came up in here, which is not right. I need to come up between the bars of the two lines of stitches. And then it matches up beautifully. When you're into the stockinette stitch, you can't even tell that there's a seam there. I came out of that one. And then there's Oops. Two. Whoops, I think I have three. I do. Three. Okay, so I will continue that and you go ahead and uh, seam up your sleeve and I'll join you on the last video. And I'm finished. I happen to have enough thread at the base of my sleeve to go up to about there and then I happen to have enough leftover yarn from the joins to come down and then they met in the middle so it worked for me but as a beginner just start from either direction it doesn't really matter just doing the mattress stitch and just make sure you have enough to go all the way up just a more experienced knitter we use all the leftover ends th that we can <laughs> into our knitting and it makes it for a really nice very seamless transition and that is your uh, sleeve hemming.